Hey guys, it's Amanda and welcome back to another episode of Sketchbook Sessions. This episode is really special because we're actually not sketching in a sketchbook. We're going to be sketching on the Microsoft Surface Pro, which is what I've been using to do all of my digital drawings and sketches. I love this device so much because of how versatile it is. You can turn it into a laptop or a tablet depending on what you need. And I just think it's really great for artists, students, professionals, or someone who's on the go because of how thin it is. The battery is long lasting and it's really high performance. So I teamed up with Microsoft to show you guys how I've been using my Microsoft Surface Pro to do all of my digital drawings and sketches. Sketches. A lot of you guys have been asking me to see more digital drawing videos. Um, I actually did grow up doing digital drawing because I loved anime and I loved comic books and illustrations and that sort of stuff. So it is very much something that I am interested in and that I still love. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, as you can see right now, I'm starting a sketch. I'm using the program Krita, which is a free open source drawing painting program. I will leave the link to this down below in the description box. It's a really great alternative to Paint to a Sigh or any of the other painting programs because it is free obviously and because it's actually available for Mac which a lot of the other programs aren't. So definitely check that down below and I will also leave a link to the brushes that I use down below. I use the brushes by David Revoy who is a anime, comic book, illustrator, um, love his work. Anyways, while you guys watch me sketch, which by the way, I'm sketching based off of some images from Instagram. The middle picture is actually a self-portrait of a selfie that I posted on Instagram, but the other ones are just kind of random pictures from Instagram, so just in case you were wondering. But I wanted to talk a little bit about digital art and my thoughts on it, um, just because it is obviously different from traditional art. I still do both, I still practice both, I love both, just in different ways. What I love about sketching digitally is how streamlined the process is. Obviously, there's a control Z, control Z, depending on if you're American or European or whatever, um, but the undo button does help a lot, makes the workflow a lot easier. And then also just the ability to reproduce, manipulate, and share your artwork all just from your device is awesome. Especially using a tablet like the Microsoft Surface Pro where you can sketch right onto it and you don't need to worry about scanning the image in and cleaning up your line work and all of that stuff, which is a hassle sometimes. And I also just like how quick and easy it is. Like if you don't like something, not a big deal. You're not wasting paper, none of that. It's just right on your device, so you can undo, you can delete, you can change things. I just feel like there's so many pros to digital art, and it doesn't take anything away from traditional art. I feel like a lot of times there's this unspoken war between traditional and digital mediums, and why can't we just live in a world where people can do both? Because I enjoy both, and I use both for different reasons. Anyways, I should probably talk a little bit about what I'm drawing. I'm just using a simple pencil brush that mimics an actual pencil. It has like little graphite textures and everything. And I really like sketching on a slightly gray background if you've noticed. Uh, I think it just makes things a lot softer, especially if you plan on painting things in. In this video, I didn't really color anything in or do any painting. I just kind of wanted to do quick rapid fire digital sketches. Um, I challenge myself to do like 10 minute sketches, do these really fast and quick while still getting some of the details in. I always do this. I kind of like make challenges for myself. It just makes drawing a little bit more fun for me. Uh, just to clean things up a little, I erased some of the construction lines, which kind of brings everything back together. Uh, and then you will see later on that I wanted to experiment a little with some of the brushes and do a little bit of shading. So in the center drawing, the self-portrait of myself, I used this screen tone dot brush, which kind of resembles the screen printing dots that you see on comic books. And it's cool because since I'm using a tablet, the pressure sensitivity is on, so the harder I pressed, the closer together the dots were, and then the lighter I pressed, the farther away the dots were. So it kind of acts as different types of grays, but it's still black. 
if that makes sense. It was really fun to experiment and see what worked and what didn't. By no means am I a digital painter. It's actually something that I'm hoping to improve on and practice later on because I really respect the people who do digital painting. So I'm definitely gonna try to practice my painting and coloring more because I feel like it will finish off my sketches a lot better. And hopefully the next time you see me digital paint, I will actually have some shading and coloring going on. Anyways, my drawing is pretty much done. I just decided to go with most of the shading in the hair because it was the main feature of this sketch. But I thought it looked kind of cool and it's definitely something that I would have never been able to achieve if I was just sketching in a sketchbook. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Huge thank you to Microsoft for sponsoring this video. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos of me using the Surface Pro or me doing digital drawing. Just comment down below, I can definitely do that for you. Also, if you want to see more videos from me, you can check out my whole sketchbook sessions playlist down below. That's pretty much it. I love you so much and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye guys!